My nature is sin. I have no righteousness of my own. Jesus has no sin. He is the righteous one. He who knew no sin, the Bible says, became sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. And so we see what an incredible trait that takes place there. So um, if Jesus is the righteous one, and we know that the Bible tells us under Jesus' teaching that Satan is the father of sin. He's the, he was a liar and a murderer, it says, from the beginning. He instituted all of this then we see that that reproach, if we cast our vote for righteousness, we're actually voting spiritually for Jesus. And if we're voting for sin, we're voting for Satan, which will bring a reproach. And that's, so you could say that Jesus exalts a nation or Satan is a reproach to any people. And that's true in your personal life, as well as our homes, as well as our nation. And so I would just challenge people today that as they consider this election, if you have not already voted, uh, that you would make the right vote, that you would not be persuaded uh, by the people the, the, uh, that are going towards the area of sin and reproach uh, or by personality. But you look at the principles and you compare. If this here guy says that I believe that it's okay to murder babies, is that a sin or is that righteousness in God's eyes? And your choice is going to be based on whether you're voting against Christ or for the wicked one himself. And so the Bible reminds us in Ephesians 6, and verse 12, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of the darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And so it's a spiritual war, it's a spiritual vote. And we need to make sure as Christians, because I believe that we will all stand before the Lord, Jesus Christ, not to be judged for our sins, but to give an account of every word that we've ever done as believers. And uh, if you've already voted and have uh, voted for righteousness, praise God. Uh, pray for our nation. If you are a Christian and you voted and you didn't vote because you didn't like the guy's personality and you voted for personalities instead of principle and you, vo you voted for sin, uh, you brought, you're bringing a reproach upon us and by the grace of God, even still that you've cast your ballot, you can still ask God to be merciful and forgive you of that. God, I, I, I voted the wrong way. And uh, just pray that we all as a nation will see God's grace extended again uh, for us, for our children, and for the days ahead.